Well, KU football looked to play spoiler to yet another ranked Big 12 team today with Coach Prime in Colorado at Arrowhead Stadium. On the Jayhawks' senior day, special moments in the pregame ceremony, then the Hawks get rocking and rolling. Opening drive, Jalen Daniels sends it over to Devin Neal, who jukes out a defender, sheds a tackle, and is chased into the end zone by a pack of Buffaloes. KU on the board early after that 51-yard touchdown. Won't be too long till they find the end zone again. Daniels hands it off to Neal, who just jogs in 17-0, and he can't hear those CU fans anymore. But the Buffs won't go down in shutout fashion. Heisman Trophy frontrunner Travis Hunter proving why he's the favorite. Weaves through the Jayhawk defense for six. That's a 51-yard touchdown. It'll be 23-14 Kansas at half. The Buffs bring it within two to start the third, but who else than Devin Neal to pull him away? His third touchdown of the day. Defense puts in the work, keeping the buffs down as Neal punches in his fourth of the night. And Kansas becomes the first unranked team in FBS history to beat three straight ranked opponents, winning 37 to 21. Katie Marr has more from Arrowhead. With bowl eligibility hopes still alive for Kansas football, Saturday's matchup against Colorado was yet another must-win game. But it was also a must-win for all the seniors celebrating their senior day. Luckily for them, the Jayhawks managed to upset their third straight ranked opponent, controlling the game from start to finish to win 37-21. to And leading the way, none other than senior running back Devin Neal. You know, when I did commit, you know, how many people call me crazy and said I was wasting my career, but... You know, a lot of people are going to experience what I've been able to experience this time, being able to literally get a dormant program out of the dirt, out of the mud, disrespected to this position to sold out crowds. You know, I'm never going to forget that. The Lawrence native who came back for one final year of college ball totaled four touchdowns and nearly 290 yards. He's truly a special back and fittingly so, I think, for him to, to play his last home game you know, no matter where we're playing at the moment for him to have that type of game really puts an exclamation part, point mark on, on his perf performance and career here. For Lance Leipold, this is a special senior class that started his program rebuild. To see the locker room the way it is, it's a great feeling. I'm happy for them. I, I appreciate all their efforts. I'm proud to be their head coach. And uh, and I, as we said, we got to keep working. We have to find a way to get a sixth win so we can hang out together a little bit longer. We could look back at the 2020 season, we went 0-9. And the fact that, you know, we're having these conversations right now, we're having this much attention on our program. I mean, a lot of the guys, one thing that they wanted to say was that they were able to leave a brick here. And I'm sure we're able to say that because there's a full new stadium being built in Lawrence, Kansas now. They'll hope to get that bowl qualifying six win next Saturday in their regular season finale against Baylor. Reporting from Arrowhead Stadium, Katie Marr, 13 Sports.